Such a beautiful day out here, man. You know what I'm saying? Days like this, I love my home of Killeen, Texas, man. You know? In fact, it's such a beautiful day that I don't want to be stuck in a cubicle or a studio. So I think I'm going to go ahead and broadcast right from here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, for real. It's February, bro. February 9th. It's lovely. About 80 degrees out here, man. You know? Anyway, man, thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for tuning in, you know. Um, it's February 9th, you know. It's Black History Month, you know. I've been going in all month with my black history, you know what I'm saying. Shouts out to my light-skinned friend who pointed that out to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying no names, man. But uh, more importantly, man, I'm glad to be back here live on Brotherhood TV with another edition of Know What I'm Saying. I am your host, Diesel Greasel. And thank y'all for tuning in. You know what I'm saying? Uh, before we get started, man, we got some shouts out, man. I don't know if y'all been following the timeline, but we had it on fire this week because we supporting our own. You know what I'm saying? So first, I want to give a special shout out to our two students of the month. You know what I'm saying? We have a young lady and a young man. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm sure the parents are very proud. I appreciate all the feedback, but more importantly, I appreciate these young kids putting in that work, man, because when you black... Good enough ain't good enough. You got to be the best. So the fact that y'all are putting in the work in the grades and showing it, man, warms my heart. Salute. We can't wait to give y'all y'all gifts. And for any student out there that's on top of their stuff, man, we encourage our parents to hit us up so we can recognize them. So without further ado, I bring you student number one and student number two. Y'all check it out. Already, you know what I'm saying? Definitely, definitely, man. And the future is now. We gotta, gotta put the time into our own children. So a special shout out to both of those families, man, for supporting them children. And, you know, that's, that's awesome. We also want to take the time to acknowledge our Mother of the Month Award, you know what I'm saying? Someone very near and dear to me. She actually started my dreadlocks, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, this is my nigga nigga, you know what I'm saying? But more importantly, man, she's a beautiful woman. She don't make no excuses. She handle her business. You know what I'm saying? Jennifer, first lady. You know what I'm saying? This is you. And um, I'm very, very proud of you. You know what I'm saying? And um, your son is amazing. You know, Shantae, a.k.a. Spider-Man. You know what I'm saying? And you're doing an excellent job. But more importantly, I love the fact that life gave you lemons and you made lemonade. Shouts out to Black Spider. You know, um, and like to any other parents out there, you want to be recognized, let us know, man. Cause that's, that's what we do, you know. On to some other news. It's, it, it was Grammys last night, you know. Everybody's upset about the Grammys. I don't even know why niggas watch the Grammys no more, you know what I'm saying? We already know that we're not represented very well, you know. Uh, last night, Eminem won Best Rap Album of the Year, which I don't really have an issue with. I'm, I'm an Eminem fan, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to get into that. But this makes for the second year in a row that a white artist has won Best Rap Album of the Year. And you know they said enough for old Iggy to win it next year, so that's pretty scary. So I'm saying, so in the words of J. Cole, while we arguing about who's the king, you know what I'm saying, we're worried about who's on the throne, look around, man. White people have stole our sound. So we got to do something to get it back, because right now we're losing, you know what I'm saying, we're, we're losing, um, Kanye West back at the Grammys, that was awesome, you know what I'm saying, that was awesome, a lot of y'all uh, know Kanye hadn't been there since 2009 when he snatched the mic from Taylor Swift and said Beyonce had the best album in the world, and uh, I don't know, maybe this nigga's in love with Beyonce, because last night when Beck won Artist of the Year, or Album of the Year, I'm not sure which category it was, good old Kanye got to walking up there, and then he turned around, Everybody perceived it as a joke, but it wasn't a joke, you know what I'm saying? Kanye was about to do this shit again, you know what I'm saying? And um, he said the reason he didn't do it is because his wife and his daughter was there. So he, he didn't he didn't want to put them in, in a bad spot, which I'm cool with, you know. A lot of my people get down on Kanye, man. 
I don't understand. I like Kanye. I think he's weird as fuck. You know what I'm saying? But hey, it's a lot of weird motherfuckers I kick it with. Uh, more importantly, since his mother passed away, he's definitely been on one. But hey, you know what I'm saying? When when you lose someone like that in your life, it's, it's no telling what type of impact it can have on you. But um, Kanye's a nigga nigga. You know what I'm saying? He ain't afraid to, to speak his mind. And for that, I'm going to always fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I could kind of feel him. Basically talking about uh, Beck didn't deserve the award. He thought it should have went to Beyonce. I'm not going to get into a compare or contrast between Beck and Beyonce. But more importantly, man, R. Kanye is saying he's fed up of, he feels black people are the most talented in the world. You know what I'm saying? So if you look at it from that point of view, you feel we're the most talented in the world. So when we don't win something, you like something ain't right. You know what I'm saying? So there you have it, man. That's why he is speaking his mind. And for that, you know what I'm saying, I, have, I can't be mad at him, you know? So hey, man, I fucks with Kanye. You know what I'm saying, um, on to some other news, you know, um, Whitney Houston's daughter going through some things, Bobby Christina, uh, right now, um, she has, is still in a coma, and they do suspect that it could be foul play, you know, very, very tragic story, you know, very, very tragic story, man, my condolences go out to her family, I'm a Bobby Brown fan, I'm a Whitney Houston fan, uh, I'm a black family fan, you know, I don't know what led to her being in the circumstances she's in, it really doesn't matter, you know what I'm saying? But you hate to see anyone go through it, especially someone young. And it's even worse when you're in the limelight. You know what I'm saying? So definitely uh, my deepest condolences to the Brown family. You know? What else What else happened, man? Uh, Super Bowl. I know a lot of y'all don't agree with me that I think the Super Bowl is a conspiracy. But you got to understand that I feel that NFL and NBA and all major sports leagues are just sports entertainment. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. Got traffic going by. That's how you know we live and on location. But it's it's sports entertainment, you know. So it's all methods of of, of crowd control. Now the only thing that sticks out to me is that leading up to the game, Marshawn Lynch was under a microscope, and he kept responding to ESPN reporters with uh, shouts out to my real Africans and things like that. And when they edited it and played it back on ESPN, they took out that portion as if. Shouting out your own people is a curse word. You know what I'm saying? It's like, he didn't curse. He wasn't rude. It was, I don't think anything was wrong with his statements. But it just shows you that in the system of white supremacy, a figurehead in America uh, giving shouts out to black people trying to empower them, that's not what they want to be portrayed on the media. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure had he spazzed out and had a nigger moment, they would have definitely showed that. You know what I'm saying? In, in its entirety. But the fact that he sat there and paid homage to his people... For whatever reason, you can't show that on TV. They don't want little white children seeing that. They don't want little black children seeing that. More importantly, they don't want someone wearing an African medallion being the face of the league. It is what it is. I know everyone has their opinions on it. In my opinion, the system of white supremacy is not up for debate, so I'm not even going to waste any time entertaining that. You know what I'm saying? It is what the fuck it is. All right? Last but not least, uh, you know, uh, have you been following ISIS? You understand that... Uh, they have been accused of burning a, um, a a person from Jordan while he was in the cage and got white people mad, man. They're like, this is such an inhumane act. They don't understand how anyone could do this. And um, and it's 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 fucked up. You know what I'm saying? It's a very sickening act. I, I, I will say that. But um, American history is far, far worse. You know, it really is. And the president of this country, Barack Obama, took the stage and used American history as an example of the type of things that have been done in the name of God. And now you got white Republicans coming out saying that no one's ever been killed in the name of Christianity, which is just crazy. It's like, dude, if you know your history, if you know any of your history, you know that that's not true. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's not true at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not even going to entertain it because it's so not true. That's like saying that I have a vagina. It's not true. I'm not going to argue the shit because I know I got five kids and I pay for them all. So it's not true. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's, a, it's just crazy, man. Just let you know, like, we're not that far removed from racism, man. It's still a very, very touchy subject. In my opinion, it probably always will be. But I don't believe that the backlash that the president has received is warranted. But, hell, it's nothing new. He's been criticized the, this whole time. And if he's lucky, he'll live long enough to be criticized for the rest of his life. Because that's just the way it works in, in, in this realm, you know. But um, that's all I got for y'all today, man. It's a beautiful day, man. I think I'm going to go spend some time with my kids, man, like, while I can, while the sun's up, man. I'm just glad to be off. And I thank y'all for tuning in. Make sure y'all come by the shop. 
Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you support our music. Make sure you support your community. Make sure you're spending dollars on black-owned businesses. You know, I'm not going to give you the rundown, but I'm going to give you the rundown. You feel me? So, uh, other than that, man, God is love. Family first. Live on Brotherhood TV. This is Know What I'm Saying. I am Diesel Greasel. I'm out.